Hey guys, where are you going? No, no, hey, we're making a video for the community. <sighs> By community, I mean. The community. The covert uranium facing community. code on there for now. I'm sure that's fine. I haven't got my glasses, my bifocals on, so I'll just have to make a guess at that. And if not, well, fuck off and put another channel on and just, you know, you can listen to my words. So, we're not quite at the year yet, so I hope to have some kind of summary assessment available to my neighbors. Uh, as best I've been able to provide with no no resources and being disabled and all um, since February 2013, well March when it became apparent there was a uh, surface uranium problem in Covert Uranium Basin so kicking a little dirt around Here's what you got. You got uh, uranium starting about two feet down. Planting the wrong things brings it up. So we we want to be real wise about what we're planting, you know. Which doesn't just mean the wrong kind of plants being deep rooted. It's much more complex than that in bringing up these radionuclides, which are primarily. but not exclusively U308, which is well, entirely U238 because it's relatively new and hasn't fizzed off and degraded. Um, hey guys! I think it's uh, 3 million years old roughly, the obelite that brought it in about 80,000 years ago when well, as I've told you before in Doc Atomic's boring uh, story, was what fucked up my earth. So agriculture isn't a good idea. And whatever it would have to be would be something that you don't have to irrigate because you don't want to be pouring uranic uranium groundwater on and if you're filtering it out that's a big expense but it could be done and then what do you do with the concentrating especially the way they put this ridiculous uranium mor moratorium which solves nothing and creates more problems so um, method two I won't say remedy, but treatment too. Do nothing. Well, I guess it looks like they're not letting their cows graze. I don't know what they found out in the uh, testing the grasses. Like I say, you gotta. Some plants bring it up, some don't. Let the thing go to nature and provide an opportunity for students to study. Because it's such a big problem, we need to make this a niche of our uh, provincial ecology studies as far as university um, you know because it's a mix of geology and biology and climatology and the whole nine yards right uh, and the biological aspect where you can see the averse species diversification and specialization to adapt to the successful ones which is uh, 
you know, you can watch it unfold as it goes back to nature if that's what's going to happen with this, this cobalt uranium basin. Um, like I said before, you could, you could conceivably, but risky, especially you'd have to really, really know the locations where it's coming up from and be very familiar with the mechanisms bringing it up. Right, with Purple Lake up through there being and of course the creek being the most likely source that's bringing this up or out from the ground above um, you know a lot of this may be plaster from two great floods that was deposited and then brought up by uh, really alkaline water and I'm sure some of it was so I'm not too sure about that again a lot lots to learn So if it was well understood and, you know, like I said, made a study at the universities, um, go hand in hand with the geology outpost, UBC geology outpost that's, well, just up, up there in Hawaii Lake Road. So one could cap it with clay conceivably. And put a cr controlled outlet for any of the um, springs, and possibly use this massive sand, dredge it on over, or monitor. Use a monitor, I guess, would be the simplest thing, and use it to backfill everything right up to just about Sea Seacrest Road level. And turn it into industrial, where people are generally only exposed 10 hours a day. Properly capped, you don't have to worry about the emissions, the alpha emissions, and the occasional beta emissions. Of course, you have to worry about radon gas. And anything that comes up with the water table that you've changed. So, you know, that's pretty doubtful that that this could be turned into successful light industry. You can't turn it into heavy industry because you'd have to excavate all this, which you can't because it has uranium in it. And there's a uranium it's uh, forbidden. The word doesn't even exist in BC law anymore. But, you know, you can't do heavy industry on a swamp, right? On a backfield swamp. Which, this being wildlife preserve, even though it's on private property, Good luck doing that, right? And you'd have to know what you were doing too. I suppose there's always room to be granted allowances when you've proven the science beyond a reasonable doubt. Toxic ground, eh? They're naturally or man made. And then if you disturb it, well, you know. Who's, who's gonna pay to remedy that? If you touch it, you bought it. As the saying goes with strict liability.
quack, quack. Bennett, you really failed when you kiboshed that BC Royal Commission. I'll, I'll, I'll put the link <sighs> up the duck spots if this ever gets on YouTube again. So the area does have to be posted. So people aren't inadvertently poisoning themselves. You right, thank you. And everybody's tax property tax bill has to make mention. Test your well water regularly or end up like us. Or worse, like poor old Mo dead. Okay? Get snot in your eye there, but okay, yeah, I know. So, you point in the face of Fukushima, eh? Be snot, eh? Dave. Must have rubbed it on my jacket. Good boy. <coughs> <laughs> so, I told you guys this wasn't for YouTube. I heard you no more YouTube. Thanks for joining in, Bear. So there's um, two things that can be done. Like I say, if you were allowed to touch uranium, then you know, this uranium has no, got no value as far as U-235 for nuclear fuel, because it's too fresh. Fresh out of the supernova from three million years ago. Um, so, you know, you can't, like, extract it and send it off as it's yellow cake to be refined because it's got no value there. Much like I suspect was the case from the, uh, the brother load, uh, the uh, blizzard prospect on, uh, what is it, Highway 3 there, just uh, south of Kelowna. Or uh, Highway 66, uh, whatever the hell it is there. The highway that goes up to Kelowna. From Highway 3. Yeah, Highway 33. Maybe that's it. The Blizzard Prospect. I'll put the link. Oh, no more links. Yeah, right. We, we don't do that because... Because... Why? I Well, I don't know. Because it's googly fuck YouTube and we don't do that. So, that's over. No point crying about it. And, uh, I'm just gonna leave it at that. Fuck it. I'm not into this. It's too hard to network it. We'll talk to you later when I fire up the Skycast. Hey, bear. Enjoy. What a lovely day. Ten above. January the... Well, Monday anyhow. And we're in a real strong solar wind. 
that's um, swept by the uh, Venus passing between us and the sun, which also had captured the ice on. So you know, maybe we'll maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe we'll get unlucky. Uh, I mean, maybe we'll get good lucky. Maybe we'll get bad unlucky. You never know. So anyhow, I don't know. If anyone's really interested in fucking dealing with this, otherwise I'll just let the lawyers deal with it. I got, I got some Americas to, to hitch up. I will be closing the Darien Gap, Lottie. Anyone want to come with? Especially um, licensed sailors that have done ferry or anything. You can pay you shares. Probably can't pay you a wage for a while, but you know, share the profit. As well as a pension share of the company. But I suspect it'll be a short term thing. If you actually manage to make it work and not, you know, get sabotaged or sunk or whatever. <coughs> Once the Americas are joined, there'll be uh, people kicking the door down to, to put in a corridor through the Darien Gap, 100 kilometer or whatever, a uh, toll road. A float road over swamp. But you know, we're, we're, we're probably talking half a trillion dollars. That's like fuck six months worth of war in in uh, in Iran or in I a I, uh, I, uh, what's it called um, Iraq yeah so you know who wants to divert that away from the military industrial complex to own the connection between the Americas American taxpayer would never want to do that Obama no Obama no no, no, he would never want to do that. Or would any of his ass kissing globalist bum chums? I think I think I got Cindy talked into it. But bears started na 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 na. na. I'm staying here with my wife. Who's buried out back? Hey bear. Yeah, I don't blame you. So, anyhow, uh, I'm sure in the downsizing, there's going to be a lot of laid off, screwed out of pension, BC ferries, so uh, sailors who, who, who know the trade. Um, you know, like I say, I don't know, the, as much money as I was raised, but all I can promise you is... Um, a haul over your head and um, and food for X amount of trips and if it floats it floats if it sinks it sinks right and um, comrade Fritz there is having a hell of a time restarting it so somebody don't want it to happen he's out there with the little the Louis bugger All right, well, you guys will let me know. Spider-like springs. Catch you later, pals. But we do need to preemptively join the Americas. That's the one best use of resources we could expend to fuck the globalists over and spoil their plan. And you can go down to your South American brother and sister and shake hands and exchange long pro protein DNA strands. Well, you know, done sensibly, since you're not exchanging diseases, but...
Otherwise the globalists will take them. Exterminate most of them. And just take everything. Can make them strong and perhaps, North Americans, perhaps you can earn a reprieve. You yuppie bastards. You've had the opportunity to learn and, and, and do so much. And all you've done was pleasure yourselves and uh, stifle any natural healthy fears that should have got you thinking more about survival and something important and what, what besides your deeds are you going to leave behind eh? peace and prosperity or war and destruction make up your fucking minds because I got no more time to spend on homo sapien and I don't think these guys do either I don't think you do either. Don't let your beads de I'd be I did nothing. I stuck my head up my ass in comfort. While well, Homo sapien committed the desolation of abominations as well as all the, <clears throat> shall we say, naturally developed species upon my earth above and within peace out yo peace out help me join the americas okay. we can stop these globalists our way